this episode, call them episodes just so I can keep them straight. <laughs> in this episode, uh, I want to talk just a minute about telephone poles. Um, you know, I wrote an article on this uh, quite a few years ago on on the website. Um, you know, a lot of people say check the telephone poles; they're important, etc., etc. It's true. Um, you can see here I'm fixing to feed this feeder, uh, fill the feeder. It's postseason um, here in Southeast Texas, so you know I'm gonna put some corn in it and I'm gonna run it. Uh, I'm gonna put together another thing on how to set up your feeder, uh, what time of day, etc. That works for me anyway. Um, you know. So uh, one thing that I did when I started out with this property is we had a bunch of telephone poles up here, of course, that cut across it. And um, so I started looking at them and I noticed, you know, hogs are rubbing on them and stuff. And it, what they like is they like the creosote that's in the pole. Uh, they use it uh, kind of like they use the mud to help keep the insects off, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you know, it, some telephone poles aren't as good as others in time they'll all have a little bit of rub on them but what you're gonna find when you check your property like I did is uh, some poles get it more often than others uh, for example this pole right here um, there's actually a trail directly across this road here they come underneath the fence and uh, they cross they hit the pole and then they come right up this little trail right here just just uh, just on this side of the, the brush right here and if there's corn and they found the corn and it's been here a while, it does take time, that's a whole nother deal, but um, usually they'll come in here. One of the uh, biggest hogs I've ever shot, I shot at that telephone pole. Uh, I have a bow stand right here in a tree behind, uh, behind you. you. can't, obviously you can't see it. I might turn it around, the camera around and, and uh, take a picture of it, but um, you know, it's a 15 foot ladder stand. It's over the top of brush. It's an 80 yard shot. Uh, I had a new rifle. I bought a bought a 50 Beowulf and uh, I wanted to shoot something with it. So I was running uh, uh, GPS game cameras out here, uh, which we'll talk about in another episode. Um, worked really well for getting the timing down and I came up and uh, man, we're talking 8.30 on the nose, this guy comes across, you hear the barbed wire, you know, go off and uh, turn turn the rifle light on and uh, sure enough, there's a small cow, I mean a big hog, <laughs> at the pole. Um, it, that, yeah, so check your telephone poles, you know, take a look at them. I took a video of one up the hill that in the last few years, um, and I'll probably be showing the video while I'm talking, but in the last few years, that, that telephone pole at the top of the hill has gotten, uh, I would say, better and better, or it's gotten worse and worse, depends on how you look at it. But uh, there's a lot more activity than there was a few years ago. There's a trail that crosses again, it crosses that road, going to the other property, that, which you can't see is there's a, it's a big pasture over here and there's a pond down here at the bottom. So uh, this area right here gets pretty hot. Um, during the summer it gets pretty pretty active um, because they're coming in here because we have a lot of cover we're 80 or 90 percent wooded here uh, that's pasture land which is probably the opposite about 20 15 to 20 percent wooded uh, so they're going to go down there and water and uh, they're going to come in here for the evening and, and they feed in here and whatnot uh, so anyway um, so just it's points of access um, just like the fence line video you know checking the fence lines and those trails have always been there but there's a lot more activity now than there was a few years ago so I'm gonna set up a bow stand I'm gonna put one of our uh, bait bags over it and probably a little feeder just uh, you know I just want them to sit still long enough to stick them with an arrow and get it on film of course but um, you know it works really really well super basic uh, so check your telephone poles I'll take a video, I want to take a close-up video of this telephone pole so you can see it, um, but pretty much they cross the road, they come to that pole, they run right up that trail to this feeder, and I can stick them with a bow, I can catch them before they get here. That big hog, uh, it's interesting, there's a pattern here, <clears throat> when we have a lot of hunting pressure, the sounders, uh, you know, 
the, the groups of hogs, they don't really stay on this property, um, but the dominant boars will. And they'll breed them as they move through, which is kind of interesting. Um, kind of the opposite of everything you read online and the opposite of what every expert tells you. You know, experts out there, they're going to tell you, you can just walk in the woods, shoot a pig. <laughs> it's not that easy, trust me. Um, anyway, so I'm going to fill this feeder. Uh, probably going to cut away, going to make another video about how I set up the timers, what time of day, you know, um, what I like to see when it goes off, how, it, what, you know, just work, what works for me, maybe it'll work for you, you know. Um, been, <laughs> it's just worked for 10 years or more, so it's pretty consistent, I think. So anyway, check your telephone poles, look for the creosote, look for sign. Uh, find places that you can hunt. You can't hunt every telephone pole because you don't know when they're going to be there. And then you add to that that you don't know when the hogs are going to be there. Um, that's way too complicated. Just find a spot you know game crosses or comes in contact with and find the most active area you can and see what you can set up. Set up one of our bait bags. You know, drip. Put a drip bag on it. Uh, put a lure on it. Uh, I've even coated the telephone poles. Whatever it is that's going to make them stop. Um, leaving the property alone and having a stealth approach to it when you come onto the property and not disrupting a lot of things with four-wheelers, etc, etc, etc. We could all go on forever about that stuff. Um, is what's going to play the majority of a role in success when it comes to consistently seeing game. A lot like deer. Uh, I think more so than deer. Um, you know, but when you get consistent and you're doing those things, you need to create a situation where that animal is going to stop in the right location for you to take a good ethical shot. Um, when you do all that, meat in a cooler or, or a trophy board, that's the byproduct. Um, you know, I, I tell my sons, that's not the objective. The objective is to get everything else right, and then when you take that shot, that's the easy part. It's done because you've already done all the work. So check your telephone poles, look for where they're crossing, find a way to make them want to stop for a minute for you. You know, uh, put a good game camera on it, get their patterns down, um, get you one of our uh, GPS game cameras. You know, uh, the big big guys have awesome programs. Um, you know, so I won't say anything about that, but really you just need to know when they're there. So it doesn't take a whole lot more than basically a cell phone taking pictures. So we've got some. Got some pretty good products for doing that that work. So, you know, take a look at them. They work for us. So, anyway, that's what I got. That's, you know, your hog hunting tip for this morning um, for what it is. If it helps, do me a favor, share it. If you got a friend that, that could use it, share it. Uh, if you've got questions, leave a comment. Uh, again, I'm going to say it because every hunter out there, somebody's always an expert. Obviously, this is pretty basic for those who know and it's going to be very boring for those who don't hunt so if you're anywhere in between that and you think this will help do me a favor and just share it with somebody you know i'd appreciate it subscribe to we've got uh i don't know we're doing this because I'm, I'm doing this i don't know why i'm doing this i'm doing this because i enjoy it so uh, that's there it is so all right so let me get out of here i'm going to take a video of that of that uh telephone pole so we'll see you in a minute right Thank you.